you can't push a hydrostatic transaxial tractor um, by just putting it in neutral. You have to have a, a bypass release. So here's the example of this one on this 1994 Sears Craftsman LT4000 Hydro 42 inch with the Kohler 15.5 horsepower. And so to use the tractor, push it in, to push the tractor and you know, disengage the, the transmission. And disengage meaning it opens a bypass valve that allows the fluid to flow in a, in a way such that you know, when, you, when you push the gears that are engaged with the, with the motor, it allows the motor to, to pump oil in a bypass fashion. Otherwise, these, these things just won't turn if you just can't push it, really. And it's supposed to be bad for it. So um, that's the issue on this one is, thankfully, it runs great all the time and drives great. I love my Hydro. It's so smooth to operate. Infinite control, forward and reverse. You can go infinitely slow. It totally grunts. It's got power. It goes fast. Um, runs good. Needs a car clean, but runs good. This is one of my favorites right here. So um, I'd like to fix that, but it's starting to look like I haven't maybe have an internal problem. Um, let me uh, get under the tractor, and one of the problems here is pretty much have to take off the seat and the fenders to get to where that um, uh, mechanism, there's a lever arm on the top of the transaxle that, that, that this attaches to, and there's a spring in between the end of this and the lever arm, so just to kind of keep you from putting too much force on it, because maybe that's an issue, because maybe that's what happened to mine, but um, this, this is the only way I can really see up in there. So let me get under there and see what we can see. So I was able to find the exact manual. So there's a little lever on the back of the tractor with a spring that attaches to this arm right here. This is, this is the bypass actuator. The uh, arm you pull on attaches here with a spring. And then it looks like, it looks like it's a rectangular opening in the bar and it has a washer and then it goes to a shaft that's actually in a, another part of the picture what i was hoping was that there was something wrong right here on the outside of the transmission where um you know something going on with this maybe the shaft had worn and it was no longer fitting okay so there's there's the shaft that that connects to so now this is on the inside of the transmission um, to bypass it so um because you have to, um, when you're pushing the tractor, you're trying to make the uh, oil flow in a way it's not normally going to flow. So that's why you need this bypass valve. So that little lever, it's hard to see on this drawing, but it kind of looks like a rectangular end to it. It fits into the rectangular piece on that flat bar. And this probably stops it against the case on the inside. Maybe some kind of a little detente to keep it from rotating too far. It looks like there's a flat screwdriver piece on it that down inside of there acts on this little flat piece. And then that that's how the bypass valve works. So maybe it this one twists and pushes on the edge of this and pushes this out of the way and opens a port. Some, I have no idea. I'm guessing at this point. But anyway... I guess you can see that there's things that could break down here inside the transmission and there's things that could break up here on that lever and I haven't identified what it is yet. This um, piece is very loose on the shaft and it feels like it's actually it kind of feels like it's really loose but it does feel like it's spinning the shaft so honestly I, I it, even though it feels loose it feels like it's moving the shaft with nothing happening down on the business end. So that's as far as I've got. Okay, underneath the uh, LT4000 Hydro. And again, the, there's the um, Hydro gear model number uh, 144436. I guess that equates to Craftsman number of 310 0750. Best I can tell, pretty sure. 
check the description for confirmed information. So to the right of the um, drive pulley there is the little shaft. Actually, there's a little piece sticking up there. Let me see if I can position the light here better. Okay, there's, there's the end of that lever arm. Um, and then the spring is attached to this. If I try to move it, it just moves freely, like so freely, like it doesn't feel like it's actually operating any kind of a valve. And that's the same free motion. But it, it feels like it's rotating a shaft. There's enough resistance where it, it doesn't feel like it's a metal bar spinning on top of the shaft. Now, let's see if I can get the mirror in there to show the shaft aspect. It's really definitely an accessibility issue here, so I don't know about this. I don't know if you can see the shaft up there. That's the one end. And we really want to see it right there. Okay, what I'm going to try to do is fly the camera up into there, and of course I can't see what my video is seeing. Uh, anyway, there's your underside of the, the hydro. So I don't know if we'll be able to do a repair video on this one for a little while. Just got lots of little projects. And this thing runs good, so I can always start it up and move it. There'll be another upcoming project to go ahead and fix this thing. Might have to actually pull the transmission and take it all apart just to fix that valve or the, uh, the actuating rod. Stay tuned.